Hello and welcome to Tending the Soul, a ministry of Robbinsdale Parkway United Church of Christ. I'm Reverend T. Michael Rock, and I'm one of the pastors of this amazing congregation that is just becoming more and more soulful, more open, more welcoming to everything and everyone, every experience of life. And when I think about the soul work that we're committed to, I want you to be a part of it. And so part of that is to know that we're doing these videos every week. You can click on like and subscribe to this video and you'll make sure you get these every week as you move through your soul experience. But all of this talk of openness reminds me of one of my great mentors and teachers in my life is Thomas Merton. And what happens to him in his journey is, is deeply painful and full of grief and joy. He holds both of those things tenderly and com with compassion. The, the deep loss of, of the people he loves, but also the joy of being in community and in relationship with all of life. What Merton does in a beautiful way is encourage us all to get out of that ego that separates us, that causes us to compete with others and to, to move us into places that we're thinking of, of what, what we're not about versus what we are, the, the negative. And so what Merton always invites us to do is to see the possibility of what it means to be in union with all life. And the story goes that he was on the corner of Fourth and Walnut in Louisville, Kentucky. Now in Louisville, that's a busy street corner, right? With lots of hustle and bustle and different things happening. And he talks about being a bystander in that crowd and a feeling overwhelms him about being connected to all of the beings in that place. And then he saw not just people, about their individual lives, but everyone was shining in silver light. And he was longing for everyone to see that the light was in them. Seeing that how beautiful each of those souls were, and he could see all of their beauty and all of their diversity as one. It's a wonderful story. And then he says that, unfortunately, people are so committed to seeing themselves as small. Of, seeing, of not seeing themselves as a shining silvery light for others. And so on this week, on this soul week, I invite you to experience your own inner light, shining for others to see. How do you bring light and illumination to the world? How do you reach out in service and kindness and compassion and love for all people? For you are a shining silver light Part of that, friends, is to get out of our own way, is to understand that just like Merton, it is through great grief and great love that we find that inner light. And I promise you that my soul work this week will be the same. To be out in crowds, to be out in, with people and seeing all of the beautiful lights all around me. That is how we are going to spread and, and experience what is often called the good news. And so with gratitude and deep abiding respect for all those on your faith journey, on your soul journey, may you find your inner light and let it shine.